The de-emination of arginine to create citrulline is another example of communication and signaling pathways. The process, called citrullination, results in a loss of charge, changing the protein's physical properties and affecting its biological role in its pathway. The process necessarily requires peptidylarginine deaminases, or PADs, as citrulline is not one of the standard 20 amino acids. Five PADs exist in the human genome, each of which are expressed in different levels in different cell types, and as a result they play an important role in a variety of biological functions. Of clinical relevance, multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, Alzheimer's disease, various types of cancer have all been linked to PAD overactivity. To help researchers detect this activity, SignalCam has developed PAD activity tests. Here, an engineered, immobilized PAD substrate would emit a signal. Normally, trypsin would eliminate the signal by cleaving after an arginine, but the presence of PAD activity, in clinical samples for example, would citrullinate the substrate, protecting it from trypsin and resulting in a measurable signal. For use in inhibitor screening, specific PAD enzymes are incorporated in the wells. The presence of PAD inhibitors would then result in a dose-responsive loss in signal. For more information, contact us at info at signalchem.com.